Is everything really fair under the eyes of the law? Why did this Independence Day shake people's faith in the Indian judiciary system? Welcome to Basically. And today we are going to talk about Bilkis Bano and how the judiciary system gave her justice only to revoke it later. To understand her story, we need to revisit the Godhra riots of 2002. What happened in 2002? On 27 February 2002, a Sabarmati train was burnt in Godhra in which dozens of pilgrims and Kar Sevaks lost their lives. After this incident, Gujarat became violent and riots broke out in many places. Due to the outbreak of violence, a five-month pregnant Bilkis Bano fled from a village Ranshikpur with her three-year-old daughter and 15 other family members. The family took refuge in Chaparwar district. However, on 3rd March, they were attacked. 20 to 30 people entered their home armed with sickle, swords and sticks. Bilkis, her mother and three other women were raped and brutally assaulted. Out of the 17-member group of Muslims from Radhakapur village, eight were found dead and six went missing. Only Bilkis, a man and a three-year-old survived the attack. Bilkis remained unconscious for three hours after this incident. And once she regained consciousness, she borrowed clothes from an Adivasi woman and made her way to the Limkhera police station to register a complaint. Bilkis was taken to a public hospital for medical examination only after she reached the Godhra relief camp. Her case was taken up by the National Human Rights Commission and Supreme Court, which ordered an investigation by the CBI. This was just the beginning of her ordeal in pursuit of justice. She received death threats prompting the Supreme Court in 2004 to move the trial out of Gujarat to Mumbai. In January 2008, a special CBI court in Mumbai convicted 11 of the 20 accused on charges of conspiracy to rape a pregnant woman, murder, unlawful assembly and other charges under various sections of the Indian Penal Code. The head constable was convicted for making incorrect records to save the accused. Seven of the 20 accused were acquitted due to lack of evidence. One person died during the course of the trial. In May 2017, the Bombay High Court upheld the conviction and life imprisonment of 11 people in the gang rape case and set aside an acquittal of seven people, including the policemen and doctors. Why is this in the news again 10 years later? On our 75th Independence Day, that is 15th August 2022, all the 11 convicts who were convicted to life imprisonment walked out of Godhra sub-jail after a panel approved their application for remission. The horrors of this decision magnified for Bilkis when the convicts were welcomed with sweets and garlands outside the jail. In what is sure to only add more fuel to the controversy, the sitting BJP MLA from Godhra said that the convicts are Brahmins and that they have good sanskar. What happens now? There has been political and social media uproar over this decision. Human rights activists, historians and bureaucrats, among other eminent personalities, have come together and issued a statement with over 6,000 signatures, urging the Supreme Court to revoke the early release of the convicts in the Bilkis Bano case. Calling the early remission a grave miscarriage of justice, they demanded the revocation of the premature release of the convicts. Basically, Will the judiciary undo the harm that they have done to the victim and the faith of the people of this country? Only time will tell.